Hello. I've been thinking about how to make worlds feel like you're actually in them, so I've created this very, very basic setup where the character understands the topology of the land and uh, gives basic and subtle clues to the player um, to make them feel the topology. But not just the topology of the land is important, there's also the matter of how it feels to be there. Now, when most people think about weather, they think in terms of rain, but I don't think in terms of rain because I was born in Arizona. I think in terms of heat. So I've gone ahead and created this part of the game where you get hotter as you stand out in the sun. And it's not just a matter of the little ticker on the right increasing, it actually changes the lighting of the whole stage to make it uh, obvious that it is hot and you are getting hot. I figure by this point it should be real clear to anyone who's playing that uh, uh, it is too hot to be standing out in the sunshine. Uh, I'll probably also add in animation where she, uh, whoever, whatever, whatever avatar I use, gets um, uh, progressively more beaten down by the heat. Of course, you can always sit in the shade for a while and cool off. I'm also going to implement water. In fact, the whole point of this game is that it may be a water shooter game. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and show you what it looks like when you get cold. So I'm going to go ahead and set the heat to zero. Oh, I pressed stop because I'm an idiot. Sorry, let's try that again. Let's go into the shadows and then pause the game and set the heat equal to zero. There we are. And you can see that uh, when, you're, when you're cold, it does the opposite sort of thing and makes it appear to be quite blue. Um, now the idea is that if you were that cold, that would mean someone had been like shooting freezing ice cubes at you or something. But uh, I think that changing the lighting of the scene in response to how your character feels is probably a really great way to tell the player how the character feels without being obnoxious about it. Um, and I really like this idea, so I may go ahead and run with it a little bit more. Uh, I'm still upset by the shading, though. Oh, well.